Hey guys, welcome back to another new video. Derek reacts back at it again and due to an overwhelming response, I can't let this one go guys. Visage with Fate to Grey. A lot of you, a lot of you have been requesting this one for a while now. And even a Patreon subscriber says check it out. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to be taking a look at a rare clip. Um, I think they have several clips for this song. Um, so I can't wait to get my hands on this and see what they got for me. Taking it back to 1980. Yes. Can't wait to see what we got. Before we get into the video, please take a moment, comment, like, and subscribe. I love to hear your feedback. Makes videos like these all the more possible. And also take a moment to follow me and like me, both on Instagram and on Facebook. And if you're new to the channel, guys, welcome. I also have a Patreon link down below. Be sure to check that out when you get a chance. Help support my channel. Makes recommendations like the one you're about to watch all the more possible. All right, guys, without further ado, let's go. Crap. Oh my god. Holy bananas. Can we just for a minute just say uh, how epic these fucking these? <laughs> Sorry guys, uh, how these synths are. These synths are amazing. These synths are amazing. Oh my god, uh, they're they're just amazing, amazing coming in. Um, but what's int also interesting is that you're getting kind of like French lyrics coming in in the intro, and now we're getting English ones. So there's it's, this seems to be a um, combination of both English and French lyrical uh, con content coming in, um, sung by uh, both Brid Bridget uh, Arons and uh, Steve Strange. So there you have it, and we can see them there both singing. That synth is amazing, guys. It's amazing. Holy crap. Holy crap. Oh my god. What's who's responsible for the synthesizer? Um Billy Curry and Chris Payne, I think it is. Billy Curry and Chris Payne. My lordy, my lordy, my lordy. Uh they they're they're blowing that thing up and 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 it's just amazing. Can you just Im imagine this thing in, in the clubs? My god. Oh. oh, you hear it, you hear it there coming in and out, in and out. I love that. It's you get the main the main one, which is very, very strong, very, very prominent, um, coupled, coupled with with her beautiful voice. She has a very, very nice voice, most angelic sounding. And um she's thinking about I like that. I like how we're getting kind of like both languages coming into the mix. It just gives it more of an interesting kind of like variety. Um and, and it just and it just it just kicks it up a notch. It kicks it up a notch. Um so you're getting it's just full full of synths guys. This is like a full synth orgasm. Full synth orgasm, most definitely. Um, and you know how much I love those things, but, um, most definitely new wave, most definitely new wave. Yes. Um, take, take me through the night, take me through the night on the dance floor with this one. Take me through the night. Amazing. I like that. Sans la pluie comme un été anglais, entends les notes d'une chanson lointaine. Sortant de derrière la costière, 
So as she comes in, as she comes in, the drums start rolling in too. And notice what they did there, um, those intermittent pauses. I love that. It gives it more of the separation, more um, more height, um, and just um, you being able to carry the night all the way through. Carry the night all the way through with whoever you uh, so happens to be you're dancing with on the dance floor. Guys, this is a dance floor. Dance floor song, most definitely. Most definitely. Or, uh, or a song you can be playing through the night um, in your car. You just picture someone like driving, driving in the night, in the nighttime, um, through the city, you know, with this thing, baby, blasting, blasting. I would do that, guys. If I have a sports car, I would do that. Driving, probably uh, one of those, um, you know, eighties uh, cars, you know, with the, <laughs> with the spoiler and everything like that. And oh my God, just. I mean, I was born in the eighties, guys, but it just. It, I, I, I want to, I want to be able to experience it. Take me take me into a time machine. I want to go back. So she's coming in. She's coming in, and um, she's doing the spoken words uh, as she's singing along here with this. Very interesting. I'm gonna rewind a little bit. Oh, oh look, she took it off. It's catchy. I already, I already know the, the lyrics to this. It's very simplistic, too. She's speaking. She's speaking, and it's very, very hush, very, very distant, very faint, um, almost echoey, uh, and almost kind of like in the background there. Um, I can say that maybe he's doing more of the singing. Um, Steve Strange, he's doing more of the singing. I mean, they're really not singing much. It's very oohs and ahs. Oh, uh, oohs and ahs and stuff like that. This is about instrumentation. This is about carrying the night through <laughs> all the way through the night um and just just going going and, and just enjoying it enjoying it um kind of like things when when things are winding down but i wouldn't be surprised if this song has probably several remixes or um different versions and stuff like that because the tempo to this is very you know uh, like that like that i don't know if that makes sense um like what i'm doing like you know but it, that's how it is that's how it is it's just it's just that type of stuff um, but you know, the lyrics are pretty good too. I mean, you have Steve Strange, feel the rain like an English summer, hear the notes from a distant song, um, stepping out from the back shop poster, wishing life wouldn't be so long. Um, and you're just there with your drink in your hand and on the, on the, on the dance floor and just fading to gray, fading to gray. I, I know that's not what it means. There's more, there's actually some deeper meaning behind this. Um, um, as I looked into the research. Oh. We play to gray. Look at this. <laughs> we play to gray. Love it. So now they're like twirling um, together and they're like wrapped together um, in, in their arms. Um, very simplistic video. The other video, I would, I would, look, I would love to see it just to see. Uh, if it has those vibes that I'm speaking of, kind of like city and all that, going into a club. I don't know why I keep saying that. I mean, that's what, I, that's what I'm picturing. Um, it just has those things. Um, and it's just now it's just the oohs and ahs. We fade to gray. And I think she's saying, um, all she's really saying is den vi gris or something. Den vi gris. She's saying something like that. Um, I have to find out what that means. But um, very, very heavy on synths. Some drum programming involved. Backing vocals, backing vocals, uh, by guess who, guys? Guess who? Midge Err and Rusty uh, Egan, who also is responsible. Midge, Midge is responsible for uh, for the song too. I think he wrote it. Uh, he wrote it along with Chris Payne and Billy Curry. So there you have it. Uh, 
Ah, uh, it fades, so it fades away. That was interesting. I guess what I think the video, this video, um, for the for the for the uh, for 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 the for, for for its purpose, I guess it's good to see who's behind uh, the 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 ones responsible for singing it. Um, I don't know what the other video has if they're included in the, in the video or not. I don't know. But um, being that it was rare, it just kind of like, it tickled me a little bit. It tickled me. I had to check it out. So, guys, let's get right into it. Let's take right into it. Uh, the second single by British New Wave Visage, and uh, it was released on Polydor Records in 1980. The song was the band's most successful single. It entered the singles chart in the late 1980s, peaking at number eight UK singles chart, and reaching number one in Germany and Switzerland, guys. Uh, Steve Strange uh, was on lead vocals. And the French lyrics were spoken by Rusty, uh, Agen, uh, Belgian girlfriend from Bridget Arns. Interesting. Um, I don't know if she has more stuff, if she has solo stuff, or she's done more stuff with, uh, with Visage. If she's really, really um, heavily involved in, in Visage, um, I don't know. Uh, please let me know, let me know. Um, I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure she's on there. I mean, they're, it's, that's the band, right? So... Um, the music video came as one of the first video clips that Kevin Godley and uh, Lo Krim uh, directed before it became known in their works with The Police, Duran Duran, and Herbie Hancock. And there you have it. Super synthy, guys. Super synthy. I mean, I don't even think if there was any other instrument there. Just the synths and the, and the drums. Um, and it was simplistic in that sense. Um, it didn't really blow me away. I wasn't really blown away, to be honest. Um, I like the sounds. I do de definitely like the sounds. And I think it has kind of like that that nightlife vibe um, that I kept repeating myself with, and um, and just 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 another type of song that you want to just have included on your '80s playlist, uh, especially dance playlist. And it's just good. It's just good. So what is this meaning about? What is this whole thing about? What are they singing about? This, of a, you know, fade to gray, fade to gray. Um, so upon looking deeper into the meaning. Um, it seems to focus on the topic of depression. Uh, at least that's what I found. The subject of the song is a, is about a man who appears to be suffering from loneliness, or at least is some kind of like lonesome traveler, um, and is also hiding from something or someone, though it's never made clear exactly what it is. Um, either it's fear or loneliness. Both are contributing to the individual wishing that life would be so long. A statement like this, of course, is some type of form of depression, or perhaps specifically that he wishes to disappear altogether. Uh, if you notice, fade to gray. That's what happens, you know, when you um, when you disappear or when you you know you just you just fade out, fade out. Um, it reads as it reads as if the person uh, uh, would like to uh, dis disintegrate into nothingness, completely nothingness, and not in the literal sense, but more along the lines of making an effort. Of him to get away from his past life. Very interesting type of song. Very deep. Um, it reminds me of now that I'm I'm looking to the meaning and um, that kind of like it reminds me of Shayla with Blondie a little bit, especially how simplistic it is with with um, lyrical content and meaning and 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 how I mean that that song was very euphoric, very euphoric Shayla. Is very for especially the way Blondie delivers her vocals. That was a fantastic one. If you guys haven't checked that reaction out, be sure to check it out. I have it in my Blondie playlist. But this one here is more uh, that tempo is more kind of like that dance type of the uh, tempo. Um, even though it's not, it's not like you know, it's not, it's not, it's not poppy or anything like that. It's just very new wavy, very, very good on instrumentation. So there you have it. So how did this baby do on the charts, guys? I mentioned uh, how, how it did in Germany. Um, it charted in Europe in the late 18, uh, 19, 1980s and even 81. It became a top 10 hit in the UK and a top 5 hit in the countries. Um, and the, it's, spo it's spoken both in English and French. Very interestingly done how they decided to go about that. You know, have, you know, Mr. Strange. Is, this, is that his name, Strange? Steve Strange? sing the English part, and then have Bridget do the uh, the French. And there you have it. Very interesting. Did I say Bridget? Is that her name? Is that her name? Yeah, Brid Bridget. Yeah, wanted to make sure. Um, so, so that's that. Now, I found this interesting that he was responsible. Midge. Midge and, 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 and Steve Strange 
are claimed to be have the one who came up with the idea for the French vocal in the track. And I like that. It just it just adds that nice little element. I like that. Um, Miss Bridget here is a young student from Luxembourg who was Rusty Agon's girlfriend at the time and was credited to Billy Curry, Chris Payne, and Midge, the song. So there you have it. Uh, I like I like, it. like this video is pretty pretty cool pretty cool very very simplistic I want to check out the other one let me know let me know if you think guys think I should check that one out um, I'll probably do it on my own time I don't know but there you have it there you have it another great song another great another great 80s song um, uh, with with uh, with Visage and you guys said that I should check it out and that's what I did guys that's what I did another good one um, please leave your comments and suggestions down below I'd love to hear you have to say until next time for more videos like these guys take care. Hey guys, hope you enjoyed the video. If you'd like to see more videos like these, be sure to check this one out. And also take a moment to comment, like, and smash the subscribe button to stay on all the latest reaction videos. And guys, yes, I have a Patreon link. Be sure to check that out when you get a chance. Help support my channel. Makes recommendations like the one you just saw all the more possible. Alright guys, take care. Love you guys. Peace.